Do you ever have those times that you're trying to begin to sew and the corner of your fabric gets sucked into the needle plate? Oh my goodness, it can be so frustrating. Stick around and I'll tell you how to solve this issue. Hello lovely people, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. So as I mentioned, I'm gonna tell you what that solution is to avoid that pesky situation where your fabric gets sucked into the needle plate. Do you know what it is? It's a straight stitch plate. I'm going to tell you all about it, but before I do, please make sure that you like and subscribe. That way you'll get notified of any future videos. Let's get started. To understand this better, I wanna show you the standard needle plate next to the straight stitch plate. So on the standard needle plate, you've got a wide opening. This will allow you to do a variety of stitches where your needle will have the ability to go back and forth. This is a great plate, but as with any great accessory, there's a time and a place for it. Now with the straight stitch plate, see how that's a very small opening? There's only enough room for your needle to go through. This single hole has support all the way around as the needle stitch is being formed. This is going to prevent distortion in the fabric and it helps reduce puckering. And best of all, it prevents crying. <laughs> Just kidding. It prevents your fabric from getting sucked into your machine. They're both wonderful plates, but I absolutely love the straight stitch plate. So when should you use this needle plate? Honestly, any time that you're doing a straight stitch, in my mind, is a good time to use this plate. But it is especially helpful if you're working with delicate fabrics. Pair it with a straight stitch foot and it's a game changer. I'll include a straight stitch foot video at the end of this video. Also, it's great when you're doing piecing for your quilt. When making your quilt blocks, you start sewing at the very edge of the fabric. Because you have that support around the needle hole, you can start right at the edge with no problem. If you're quilting specifically, I suggest using the quarter inch foot in conjunction with the straight stitch plate. I will also include a link for that video. Make sure you check both of them out. Sadly, the straight stitch plate isn't available for every make and model of machine. If you need help determining if there's one for your machine, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are more than happy to help. Some machines will have a sensor that will tell you when the straight stitch plate is on your machine, and then it'll do the thinking for you. It won't allow you to select any stitches that um, entail the needle moving back and forth because the opening's not big enough. Um, also, some will either gray it out or like this one, they won't even be available. It's only letting me select stitches that I can use with this particular plate. This is a really nice feature and will help you uh, keep from breaking needles. This is what it looks like when the zigzag plate is attached. See how many different stitch options you have? Just note that not all machines have this feature, so it's really good practice to just double check that your machine is set to the straight stitch and that your needle is in the correct position. Also, I like to use my hand wheel and slowly bring down the needle and ensure that it is going to go in the hole and that it will not hit the plate. We don't want any broken needles. Please leave me a comment. Let me know if you've had to dodge a flying needle. I've gathered a variety of straight stitch plates so that you can see they come in different sizes and different shapes and have different markings on them. But do you see what's similar on every single one of these? You've got a very small opening where the needle goes into the plate. I do absolutely love my straight stitch plate on my Janome machine. It not only has the one small opening, but it gives you three options. Left needle position, center, and right. That gives you more choices. Also, it has a lot of different markings on the plate. Just be sure to check your manual. It's going to cover those specific markings for you. Just a little reminder, don't forget to check out the quarter inch foot and the straight stitch foot video. Can you think of a circumstance where this needle plate would be handy? Or just make your sewing experience more enjoyable? Until next time, happy sewing everybody.